At Mokinesis, also known as weather manipulation, is one of the most powerful abilities in existence where one can control and manipulate the various forms and aspects of the weather itself. It is most often defined as having the ability to modify the temperature of an environment, control all forms of precipitation, humidity, and moisture, generate lightning and other electromagnetic atmospheric phenomenon, and has control over atmospheric pressure. Inside all forms of meteorological tempests, such as tornadoes, thunderstorms, blizzards, and hurricanes, as well as mist. There are five elemental abilities combined into atmokinesis. The first being hydrokinesis, which is the ability to control and manipulate water, moisture, and fog. Second is thermokinesis, the ability to control and manipulate temperature. Cryokinesis, the ability to control and manipulate ice, cold, and snow. Aerokinesis, the ability to control and manipulate air and wind. And electrokinesis, the ability to control and manipulate electricity and lightning. Nephelokinesis, the ability to control clouds to make it snow or rain. In mythology, beings possessing atmokinesis as a power are widespread. These are nine I think that you should know. Oya, the Yoruba Arisha of winds, tempests, and cyclones. Bunzi, who was a goddess of rain in the Congo mythology. Baal, the Canaanite god of fertility, weather, and war. Hadad, the Canaanite and Carthaginian storm, fertility, and war god. In Egyptian mythology, it was Horus, who was the god of weather, beneficial storms, vengeance, and rain. Set, who ironically was a god of chaos and evil, was also a god of storms, although lord of the desert. In Hindu faith, there was Indra, who was the thunder god or lightning god and known as the king of the gods. And there was Rudara, who was the god of wind and the ultimate thunderstorms. In Norse mythology, there was, of course, Thor, and he was accompanied by Freya, who also possessed abilities to influence the weather. This is an ability that is obviously venerated for some of the most powerful deities.